Cherry class, hopefully you'll have had a chance to do a bug hunt in your garden by now. So today we're going to make a house or a hotel for your bugs to live in. Let's see what I've kept. You could use an egg box, a plastic food tray, any cardboard box, bugs can crawl into a plastic bottle if you get a grown-up to cut the lid off. Look, lots of bugs might want to live in there. An old plant pot or even, look, an old cup or an old bowl. You can use anything you like. I think I'm going to use this one because I think my bugs will really like this as a bug hotel. So, what do we need to put in it? Let me show you. Do you remember we were learning about natural materials? Things that we find in the garden or when we go on a walk? Bugs like natural materials so I've collected some to make my bug hotel. Let's see what I found. I'm going to use some leaves, pine cones, stones. Bugs like to hide under stones, don't they? I'm sure you found lots when you went on your bug hunt. Sticks. And I might use some other things as well, like some cardboard tubes or bits of my egg box make lots of little places for my bugs to hide in. Let's see how we can do it. First, I'm going to put some mud in my bug garden. Look, I'm going to pour it in the bottom. Don't worry if you haven't got any mud in your garden, you don't need to have it. I've got lots, so I thought I'd use some in my bug garden. Look, filled the bottom with lots of mud and now I'm going to make lots of places for my bugs to hide. Look, can you see I've put one, two, three cardboard tubes. What shall I put next to them? Stones. Can you see? I'm trying to put them right next to the cardboard tubes. I think the bugs will really like some pine cones. Shall we put those in next? Look, next I've put in some pine cones. Right at the end, I've put lots of sticks. So we've got sticks, pine cones, stones, and some tubes. I think we might need some leaves. Shall we put some in? didn't take long. Look, do you think they'll like it? There's lots of places for bugs to live. I've got my sticks, I've got my pine cones, stones, leaves, some nice tunnels to hide in. And there's even some mud in the bottom. Okay, now I need to find somewhere safe in my garden to put it. Come with me. Let's go and find somewhere. I don't know where to put it. I don't want Lily to find it. Let me think. I know, I'm going to put it under here so she won't find it. Perfect place for a bug hotel. Look. Just got one more job to do and then we're finished. We need to make a sign. All hotels have a sign. I'm gonna make one and put it on my bug hotel. Come and see. I'm going to make a sign for my bug hotel. What do we need to write on the front? I know. Bug hotel. Shall we draw some bugs too? Here's a spider. Definitely want some spiders. Oh, and what do you think this is? Oh, and 
Look. We need a ladybug. Can you see? Have a go at making a sign for your bug hotel. Here's my sign. Let's go and put it in our bug hotel. Let's see if we've got any bugs yet. Come on. There it is. Look, a bug hotel. Ready for all the bugs to come and stay. That's how you make a bug hotel. You can use anything you like that you find in your garden or in your house. It can be as big or as small as you want to, but have some fun making a bug hotel. Then you can check every day and see which bugs have come to stay. Send me your photos. Have fun. Bye.